Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 46. Yahusha, the son of Nun, was valiant in the wars and was the successor of Moshe in prophecies, who, according to his name, was made great for the saving of the elect of Elohim and taking vengeance of the enemies that rose up against them, that he might set Yahshara'el in their inheritance. How great glory got he when he did lift up his hands and stretched out his sword against the cities. Who before him so stood to it? For Yahuwah himself brought his enemies unto him. Did not the sun go back by his means and was not one day as long as two? He called upon El Elyan, Yahuwah, when the enemies pressed upon him on every side, and the great Yahuwah heard him. And with hailstones of mighty power, he made the battle to fall violently upon the nations, and in the descent of Bayat Haran, he destroyed them that resisted, that the nations might know all their strength, because he fought in the sight of Yahuwah, and he followed El Elohim. In the time of Moshe, also he did a work of mercy, he and Kalev, the son of Yephanah, in that they withstood the assembly and withheld the people from sin and appeased the wicked murmuring And of 600,000 people on foot, they too were preserved to bring them into the heritage, even unto the land that flows with milk and honey. Yahuwah gave strength also unto Kelev, which remained with him unto his old age, so that he entered upon the high places of the land, and his seed obtained it for an heritage that all the children of Yahshara'el might see that it is good to follow Yahuwah. And concerning the judges, everyone by name, whose heart went not a whoring, nor departed from Yahuwah, let their memory be blessed. Let their bones flourish out of their place, and let the name of them that were honored be continued upon their children. Shemuel, the prophet of Yahweh, believed of his, rather, beloved of his Adonai, established a kingdom and anointed princes over his people. By the Torah of Yahweh, he judged the assembly, and Yahweh had respect unto Yaakov. By his faithfulness he was found a true prophet, and by his word he was known to be faithful in vision. He called upon El Yahuwah when his enemies pressed upon him on every side, when he offered the sucking lamb, and Yahuwah thundered from heaven and with a great noise made his voice to be heard. And he destroyed the rulers of the Tyrians and all the princes of the Pelishtim. And before his long sleep, he made protestations in the sight of Yahuwah and his anointed. I have not taken any man's goods so much as a shoe, and no man did accuse him. And after his death he prophesied and showed the king his end, and lifted up his voice from the earth in prophecy to blot out the wickedness of the people.